Okay, sure. This is, man, six. This is like six. This is some of the most rollback frames I've ever... Okay, this this Avatar Belial is teleporting. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, the, the, the match was so stable earlier. Okay, we, we jumped. I mean, on the, on the on, in, so, in some ways, it's some, it makes React to some things easier, the, the rollback frames. Uh, not always, though. Yeah, okay, sure. Fine, fine. Dude, what the hell? Okay, we can hit our combos, luckily. I've practiced my conversions enough. All right, folks, we are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising Action for you here on the road to master, on the road to number one, that is. And we got Fusel. We run into Fusel here. What the hell, what the hell is he doing, man? He's, he's out here. He's, he, he shouldn't even, he shouldn't, so TNS is currently ongoing. Uh, I just so the run that you guys would have. I mean, it was like a week or so. Like my my like uh, my my next TNS run might be out by this point. My backlog is so big. But regardless, the one from like you know May, uh, the one that would have been uploaded like May sixth for you guys or something like that. That TNS run I just finished. You know, it went okay. It was I, I went two two. You know, I definitely could have done some things better and some things you know not not quite as much. But regardless, I'm pretty sure Fuse is in it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, unless unless something ridiculous has happened, Fuse should definitely still be in it. You know, he do he do be that. He do be that guy. So I don't know if he's just like if he's in, waiting in between matches and he's just keeping keeping warm on ranked while he's there. Possibly, I suppose. Regardless, we do find him here. So let's see what we can do. This is uh if you, if you are unaware of, you, of who Fuselet is, he's like you know like that guy. Like he's that Vasaraga pretty much at least on this side of the ocean. Uh, for in North America, I don't think there's really another Vasaraga that can that can uh, that can claim to compare to Fuselet. I know obviously we have like some some really cracked ones in oh nice some really cracked ones in Japan right and other places like that. But at least in North America, as far as I'm aware, it's kind of just like it's Fuselet and everybody else. Nice, predictable. Oh baby, the hit confirms. So he's like I, I, again, I have to imagine he's just like staying warm on ranked or something like that while while he does this. Oh nice, I've had to two M again, but he caught me out. Nice, I've had to go two M two M to catch his toes. But his 2M is going to counter hit mine there. For, I, I was minus on block. So, of course, even though my 2M is technically a frame faster than his, I think. Right? His uh, is still going to pay dividends in that case. Oh, I thought I could I could whiff punish that with the Lariat. I could not. Cover's a little too fast for that, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Not what you want to do there in general. Bonk. Bonk. Get grabbed. Down to earth. 6XL. Ooh. Got hit by that. Actually, was not fully ready to convert. I guess I'll use a brave point here because that was a bit of a strange uh, hit confirm that I found myself in the middle of. Uh, what, what are you gonna do now? Oh, you're gonna get hit. Is what you're gonna do. Okay, I see you. I see you. Uh, I'm gonna. I just. I, oh god, that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, is this gonna work on him? I don't know. Oh, he's out of range. I hate that move. Oh, I could have jumped. Okay, you know what? Far worse things have happened. But yeah, that move just has so little range, man. It makes me so sad. So consistently, when it just whiffs on everybody all the time. This is punishable, but I- Oh, I'm the meter for a Raging Chain, dude. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Yup. Yup. He keeps- Fuse loves to jump scare me with that EX command grab, and for good reason. Uh, historically, when we've played, I've been very bad at reacting to it, but I've been a little bit- I've been trying to keep it a little bit higher on my, on my mental stack when I'm playing against him recently, and uh, it worked out pretty- pretty gangbusters there. If I do say so myself, dude, good match. I guess that I was gonna do one close L into command grab, and he was very correct. Okay, sure. Hup, hup, hup. What the- Oh, I hit him out of uh, I hit him out of the two three six U there. I think there's not a five frame gap there, or maybe it was U projectile. Regardless, whatever he was, it, it didn't. It wasn't like the the actual invincible command grab, right? Okay, he guesses once again. He's very good at getting a read on people, right? Oh, after two, after he baits it after two. What a mad man! Uh, I'm dead. Yeah, no, actually, okay. Oh my god, the jump scare! I was not ready, but he was just out of range. Luckily for me. Oh no, yeah, I got my my toes stepped on there by the uh, by the stance. Fair enough. I mean, bad place to be for sure. To be in, in chip distance there, I should have spot dodged that U projectile. Would have kept me a little bit safer. Not a bad game for sure. Not a not a not a bad uh, first game there versus Fuse. A, a scary boy he is, no doubt about it. Oh, predictable. Oh god, that's still reached. Not like this, dude. Get away from me, good sir. Nice. He has to strike that or he has to throw that time, and he was not correct, which I will always be be happy to see. That time I will grab you, but I'll mess up my timing. Is what I'll do. Okay, okay, good conversion. Fair enough. I mean, he spends a bunch of meter on that. I'm not like too upset, actually, but that's exactly that's what happened there. Yep, yep. Oh, I could have, I should have converted a little bit better off that counter hit, but it's okay. Okay, so he's just throwing projectile after projectile at my ass. Oh, that is not what I want to do. I saw, I reacted to orange glow, and I thought that, right? I thought that right there, exactly. So I tried to, uh, I tried to jump, but it didn't happen. And then, yeah, he knew that, you know, I was already, uh, I already got punished for jumping, so maybe I'd be a little bit less willing to jump the next time. So he goes for the command grab, right? Very, very good mind game stuff going on from this here fuselet fellow. It's kind of just what he does, to be fair. Got a round start, Larry, at him. Oh, okay, didn't quite work. The idea was was there, possibly, but uh, the the execution, not quite. 
Oh my god, dude just did raw command. He does like he, he makes that, that move look like you don't even have to be in stance to do it, man. Okay, there you go. This is one thing that Leva can get like 100% of the time, basically, on Vasaraga. You can far L into a raging strike there or a punish on the uh, 2, 3, 6, U, I think. The, the, the tackle move, you don't want to talk about. Are you feeling fused? You wouldn't try to take my toes out with you? Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can I? I think I can kill him from here, right? Just like raging strike, right? Catch, raging strike, and then bop, 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 hook. Huh! Is he dead? I think he is. It's close if he's not. Oh, baby, he is dead indeed. Wonderful. I was worried about that. Heck, I mean, Vasaraga's got, just like me, he's got the most health in the game. He's got 18,000 health, so I was a little worried he was just going to tank that, but luckily, that is not what happened there. Oh, my toes. Fuse why? Ooh, no, sir. I was, oh, I didn't, I was ready for the jump scare, but I was not ready to convert off of being ready for the jump scare, apparently. Nice, nice. I did see that one coming too there, Monsieur Lit. Uh, get down here, please. I would raging strike him, but I'm just gonna... Okay, sure. We're just gonna stare at each other for a second here. Nice. My turn once again, Mr. Fuse. Get away. I'm waiting for that. Oh, I didn't... Oh, it was a punish. Oh, okay, I couldn't have jumped. Okay, I did hold up. I thought I jumped it. I did not jump it. Sometimes you can jump it, but I guess that far L was a little bit too late. It's a little bit too delayed. So I actually did just get whiff punished by it. I couldn't have jumped. Okay. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, nice. Once again, the DP getting him out of trouble there, but it's still a pretty good situation for us. The 6XM, the unblockable cheeks coming out of Osaraga there, for sure. Nice. I mean, I guess that was maybe a little... He was he was very clearly down backing and waiting for me to do something, so I shouldn't have reaction checked him there. That was maybe a little silly on my part. Oh, no, not this again. Oh, I tried to headbutt, dude. I tried to do headbutt. It would have beat the cheeks, too. I, I thought he was going to... Because uh, Fuse loves ki killing me with the cheeks there, because I'm very bad at reacting to it. But I was like, I'm just going to headbutt and hope for the best. And I just didn't quite get the input. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, okay. I mean, obviously, the, so the real problem there was not like missing the, the input on headbutts. The real problem is like Fuse is very obvious, just like sitting there and down backing. So me jumping at him is like, like he's fully in reaction mode. Trying to reaction check him with something like that was a really bad idea, right? And that, that was what lost us that last round. Like missing the headbutt input, sure, whatever, it happens. But the reason we were in that like bad situation in the first place was that act, that was the actual bad decision that led to that, right? Oh well, still overall, I think a pretty, a pretty decently played uh, game there versus Fuse. Very, very like, again, one of the t one of the best players in the entire country, right? So I'm not going to be upset about losing there. I'm, I'm more so going to worry about how I played. And for the most part, I think I played okay. Is again, if there was one like really obvious, like just unforced error there, was me deciding to jump in neutral in that case. There's, there was just like no, no reason for it really. And it, it got us blown up, unfortunately, but it's fine. Maybe we're running to him again. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in, in the queue right now. I mean, maybe he's gonna, maybe he has to go with his, his bracket match or something. But regardless, if we do get a chance to run into him again, I would certainly take it. Um, yeah, I mean, Vasaraga, it's, it's an interesting matchup, right? I personally, I still think, I know, uh, I think Fuse disagrees with me. He's, he's in the Discord server, which, by the way, you should join the Discord as well. And while you're here, if you're liking the content, uh, I, I would appreciate any support you can give me in terms of, you know, a like, a subscribe, a comment, stuff like that. It, it all it all helps. I won't take too much of your time asking here, but, you know, just, it, it, does, it does help. It does make a difference. And asking also, I can tell, makes a difference how many people actually do it. So I'll ask. That's about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's uh, he's a member of Discord. We talked a little bit. I don't think he agrees that uh, that this is favored for Lodivo, but I do think that Vasaraga... Uh, Oh, hello, Pika Drew. I, I do think that uh, Vasaraga Lodiva is probably in Lodiva's favor. Now, of course, Fuse is just better than me, so it makes it look it's not. But yeah, I think. It, but he just, you know, yeah, he he just uh, he doesn't even play the characters at all. He plays the person, right? He tries to oh, he tries to beat you off of your own habits, not off of what your character can or can't do. Okay, Sneer is just kind of pushing me to the corner here. That's fine. Oh, they got bopped by that. Sure, two H into. Uh, I'll just do the basic stuff. I'll, I was gonna do the nothing. I was gonna do two M into you, Lariat, and things like that. I decided against it. I thought they were gonna DP me there for sure. Oh my god, I was not ready for that. That tells you what. As usual, unfortunately, I tend to not be ready for you, Lariat. Okay, sure. Hold the guard button against Nier. It is paramount. Me switching to the guard button there gave me that spot dodge accidentally, which almost got me sent to the Shadow Realm, but it's fine. Uh, Nier has no, like, very little health, but she, even her, she's still not dead here, right? Excellent. Yeah. I thought that SSBA might be coming, which is why I, 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 I was going to do grab anyway, but I was like, you know, if I'm going to do grab anyway and I think you're going to SSBA, I'm going to do the, the super version here just so it kills you. Um, and it worked out pretty, uh, pretty gangbusters there, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna super jump. Okay, sure. I see you. Oh, yeah, okay. So we, that wasn't a whiff punish, but we could at least kind of catch them. Oh, catch them in, uh, still there. A little bit off guard, maybe, after their far H whiffs. Not ready, maybe, to, uh, fully challenge us on this lariat. Oh, that time they were very ready, though. Okay, hold on. What's the move? 50-50. Oh, I guess, I guess low. It's a high. Nier is, oh my god, one of the, one of the few, if not one of the only characters in the video game that has, like, true unreactable mix sometimes, where you just have to guess. That's, that setup right there is definitely one of those times, right? And I guessed incorrectly. Oh, God. Okay, sure. I actually did react to that in time, but I was out of range anyway, so it didn't matter. Huh, huh. Get raging struck yourself. Oh, okay, sure. I see how it is. 
Six six H is plus here. Oh, they do respect it. Get Raven. Oh, I was gonna cancel into another Raven Strike right after that, but they they managed to save themselves from that fate. Yeah, death is a projectile. That's something you gotta watch out for, right? After the two, the first two one four you there, I was wondering if they would do it again. I was it was kind of high on my mental stack, which is why I was able to react in super and go right through that, right? Death is a projectile. Lodiva has a projectile invincible forward advancing super, and you know the rest is is history, as the kids say. I think is that what the kids say? Is that maybe that's what the boomers say? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I, I, sometimes I, I get a little lost on what the, all the, you know, generations, it's all pseudoscience anyway, man, it's fine. Don't, don't, don't concern, a lion does not concer concern himself with the opinions of social scientists, I think, <laughs> is, is what the quote is, right? Oh, I could have, I could have spot dodged that, actually. You can uh, cancel that into, uh, like, the close cell there into a, a spot dodge and just absolutely destroy, like, you have 700 years to just kill Mir for that afterwards. Any SSBAers? Okay, no. I'll just catch your toes on your way down there, not so bad. Aw, you're nothing matters. Dude, Nier is so depressed. Somebody somebody help this girl. You gonna far H? Do it. Yeah. Okay. Again, not only a whiff punish, but at least we're able to Yeah, so this is okay. So let's I I was I was waiting for this because they did that last time and they got kinda lucky. Let's talk about why that interaction happens there with because I, I figured this out recently talking to some of the Nier's in the Discord server, right? The reason that interaction works that way, headbutt, all versions of headbutt for Lodiva have anti-projectile properties. They'll clash with projectiles and uh, and give her some meter for it, right? Like we just mentioned earlier, okay, I guess right on the 50-50 that time. Like we just mentioned earlier, uh, death is a projectile, right? That was why I was able to projectile invincible super through it there. Oh no, I, I missed my, my conversion. That's bad. Okay, guard button check, as always, with near. Oh god, once again, the raging strike is out of range. I didn't quite react in time, but they just like weren't actually in range to, to hit me there. Get away from me. Okay, I just didn't want to be near death. I didn't think that would actually kill them. I just wanted to get the hell out of dodge and not be near death. And I thought maybe they at the very least wouldn't spot dodge it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so the reason that happens is death is a projectile, which means this, like every one of these headbutts has anti-projectile properties. If the two moves clash or if they're anywhere even close to clashing, I just eat the DP. But then I'm doing a headbutt and they're doing the DP, right? So she still isn't in like that, that giant recovery where she's like holding her head and screaming, right? And I'm just, I'm just a uh, vibe. So specifically in this matchup, DPing the headbutts as near is a little risky. The timing, it basically, it has, it doesn't always, oh, is this, is this Luca? I, whenever I, whenever I see 200 MS, I always just think it might be Luca. It's the only European person that I queue into at these times. No, it's not. Who, wait, who is this? Oh, Shiro. Yo, what's up, Shiro? Another friend of the, uh, joins, joins the, joined, well, actually the first time last week, joined our, our wall brawl, uh, open tournament there that we run on Thursdays. A very, I mean, just an absolutely, like, absolutely disgustingly good Cagliostro from Brazil here. So let's see what I can do against them. I've been trying to get a little better at this Cagliostro matchup recently, and I'll see if I can, if, if I, oh, if I can, if I can uh, have anything to show for it here. But again, even if I, if I am getting a little better at the matchup, it is, it's a very different thing when you go up against someone like Shiro. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, very ready for it. Fair enough. I was, I was trying to maybe catch them. I like the, I like the stutter step they're doing there too, like the little, you know, the crouch, uncrouch. It makes it unclear because I'm always looking for a startup of a move. Oh god, I didn't realize there'd be another trap under my foot there. The EX one, right? I'm dead. Um, I was, I'm looking for like the startup of a move to try and ulari at them, right? So if there's like going up and down and down and up and that, up and down like that, right? What it does is it makes it unclear. It's kind of like how boxers, you know, boxers will like kind of do little stutter steps. You can't tell where they're gonna punch, right? It's the same thing. It makes it, yeah. That, this makes it very hard for me to pick the option, like figure out when they don't go from suddenly being doing nothing to doing something, right? Oh, ow! I got caught by the trap there, unfortunately. So it makes it hard for me to like from full screen react to the startup of one of their moves or something like that, and uh, and try and punish them for it with with you, Lariat, which is one of the main ways that Lediva can sort of cheat her way in in this matchup. God damn! Oh, I'm gonna get wall bounce for this too. This is gonna be big pain, dude. This is gonna be big, big pain. Okay. I see you. I'll, oh, back throw is going to combo. God damn, dude. Kagos are so scary, man. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And I mean, Shiro, even more so than That was a double perfect, right? Even more so than, than Kagliostro. Shiro is very scary, dude. They they are uh, really, really, really strong on this character. So let's see if we, can, if we can do a little bit better in that second game. But yeah, I mean, this is... That was that was tough, man. I felt like I, I just never uh, managed to do anything in that match. There you go. No perfect, at the very least. That's, that's something. Brave counter, sure. I see you. Pierce, Pierce! Oh, oh god, I didn't mean to. I meant to 2M, not 2H there. But I got I got punished out of it there by the Pierce. Unfortunate stuff. Oh, they tried to 6-6M me. I thought they would. I wanted to jump over it, right? Uh, instead of blocking it high, I wanted to jump and like side switch them. But obviously the trap was behind me, so the jumping was not an option. That's so sad. Yeah, far H. The the god button, unfortunately. This the, like that one button is what really makes this matchup hard for Diva. It just keeps her out so well, man. Oh, and they crouch the EX Lariat. Fair enough. That's, uh, that's minus at the very least, not punishable, minus. 
Oh, dude, dude, Far H, I, I need to jump M there. Because I think jump M would have hit them maybe before the Far H could have had time to come out. Jump M, I, I talk about it a lot in the in the recent videos, but it's uh, one of the things I'm trying to do more as Ladiva, and I'm not very good at doing yet. But yeah, it, it like, it hits the ground a little bit earlier than jump H, right? So it can really help you, oh no, I wasn't blocking high, goddamn. It can really help you beat out some of those, uh, like, anti-air options where they kind of wait for you to hit the ground, like Far H, right? Or even some two H's if they try and do it too late. But yeah. This is, uh, this is looking, this is looking tough. It's looking like another perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I just, I can't, I can't do it. The layer one is still too scary for me. Like, I can't even, I can't even get Shiro to, like, force, I can't even force Shiro to have to adapt to anything, right? Just, like, the basic mind games with these traps here are a little too much for me, the way they're running it right now. We just got absolutely, I mean, there's nothing, there's not, not very much to say there. We just got absolutely destroyed by, like, a bunch of Cagliostro stuff there. That's, it's, it's not necessarily, like, the matchup is bad for Lediva, and, like, Cagliostro is very strong, right? But, really, it was just that I wasn't ready for all the stuff that Shiro was doing, and I was, I, like, there were actually a couple of times where I got hit by the exact same setup twice, right? Like, the two, like, uh, for example, setting the traps down into a 6XM with an overhead trap hitting me, right? Or, like, this, uh, one of the trap triggers, so I think I'm safe, and then he, he runs up and back throws me to the other one, right? Like, I'm just not ready for some of these Cagliostro setups, and I really just need more experience, I think, fighting, like, really strong, like, high-level Cagliostros to get that experience, until I sort of, you know, be a little bit less deer in, a, deer in headlights when I'm in the corner there with Cagliostro having the traps on me. It's really, it's, just, it's a very scary time to be alive against that character once he's got you in the corner with, with the traps up, right? And I just, I just need basically, like, I, I, in theory, I know what to do a lot of the times, but in practice, I panic, right? So I need, I need, uh, again, just like, that'll, that'll just come with experience. Like, if, if we can run into Shiro again here, I mean, I might get quadruple perfected pretty much again, but I would honestly, I wouldn't mind it. Because I desperately need that CAG experience. Doesn't look like it. The ping is a lot lower. Let me just uh, get some, some pudding going real quick. Oh, my God. oh, okay. It's a Narmaya. Hello, Narmaya. Yeah, like, I could I could use a lot more, uh, like, super high-level CAG experience there. Because, yeah, the level 1 flowchart they have just kind of blows me up. And I need to get that to be not the point. Not the case. So I can even at least, like, start playing the video game with them, right? Okay. Okay. 6XL, just run off. People are, people are being too too much, just like kind of walk back, walk forward there, like trying to be a little too clever with the neutral. Sometimes you can just default back to this run up 6XL and it'll work all right. Nice roll through there. Oh, I meant, definitely meant for that to be SPD, but I, I misinputted it and got Lariat. These things happen, I suppose. Bonk, get grabbed. As a lady. I'm going to grab you again. Yup. Uh, what do you guys think? You parry? Maybe. I don't really care if it happens. Okay, no, it's not what happens. Ah. H parry, but they waited long enough. I was waiting, I was respecting a potential U flip there, it didn't come. Yeah, so you gotta be careful about trying to anti-air Narmaya too preemptively sometimes. For the for the threat of U flip. Okay, okay, Mist Finer's coming out, it's all good. It's all G. They're gonna, they're gonna like suddenly U flip at me, I got the sense. Oh, okay. Oh god, I, I tried to switch to the guard button there real quick. Like, are you jumping? You look like you might be. Yeah, you are, nice. Oh, but no punish. Okay, hold on, chance to. Okay, we gotta, we gotta sit, sit here and hold all this. Okay. Oh, I tried to mash on that. It is plus, but I thought they would go for a throw. I, I hard called it out. Didn't quite work out there for me, unfortunately. Good good guess on the SSBA, for sure. It would have killed, right? But I figured maybe they wouldn't have been quite so ready for it. 6XL. Nice. Oh, but the headbutts aren't going to convert, and they're going to they're gonna jump the grab. They could have just mashed there. After two, uh, again, after two uh, headbutts, Ladiva is, is even on block. So mashing will, at the very least, at worst case, you'll trade, right? Uh, unless you're, uh, unless you mash with, like, a... Sometimes Far L will crush some, like, really light buttons. Some things with, like, very little attack level, right? What the? Counter hit gives her a combo. Oh, God, and I failed the guard button check. Sure. Let's not do anything too silly here. Okay. Oh, what the hell? That not, I don't realize the Brave counter wouldn't side correct there. Okay, I got... I got put in a blender. What the hell? Okay, I, I thought I thought um, the Brave counter would side correct to her being on the other side, but no. The Brave counter just whiffed straight up, and then from that point, I was a little bit uh, scatterbrained, and I just got crossed up once again. I, I was too busy, like, processing what happened the first time. Like, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa Brave counter. And then uh, and then by that point, I'd, or I was already getting comboed by the next thing they did. Okay, DP. Sure, they love to DP uh, on headbutts, for sure. That's something we can we can possibly take advantage of and uh, and blow them up for here as the set progresses. Okay, let's 6-6-H into another one. Ooh, they, okay, they're guessing uh, throw a lot also. A lot of times I have to kind of condition people to guess throw. This Armaya is like ba baseline, like level one, doing a lot of guessing throw. So I really might be able to uh, to punish them for that. I mean, if, I'll, I'll gladly just keep doing strike, dude. Like, it's, it's my it's my higher reward option, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Like, I'll, I'll gladly keep doing strike if you want to keep guessing throw. Normally, everyone guesses strike by default, and I have to condition them into guessing throw, but if, if you're going to start like this, I mean, it's it's not really the the best option sometimes against Lodiva. Because yeah, again, you you want to you want to guess you want to guess throw every time. I'm just gonna do strike. It's my higher reward option and my lower risk option, right? Okay, they, they do guess strike that time, sure. 
Get away from him. 66H is not plus enough there. Ooh, that time matching on them does work. So, you know, maybe uh, rule, rules for me and not for thee, as the kids say. Wait, no, it's the other way around. Rules for thee and not for me, is what is what the kids say. Oh, what the? I was not ready for him to get hit by that. I matched. Uh, I tried to match lights, but I hit light and you and I got throw, unfortunately. These things happen, I suppose. Any any you flippers? I got, I got, I got, I got, a, I got a sense it's coming. Also not certain, though. Oh, I just wasn't hitting the guard button. Once again, get away from me. Give me your toes. Okay, brave counter. Sure. Get headbutt, nerd. Yeah, fine. I figured with how back and forth that was going to be, I had a feeling they might just want to SSBA to put a, put this whole thing to bed and like kind of reset the momentum. But, you know, I, I went for the thing that would have won me the game. I don't lose if, uh, at this point, but if, if they hadn't done that, I would have won, right? Oh, okay. I mean, we're pretty close to losing now. Let's not get memed on. We, we memed on them instead. Wonderful. Plus buttons there. Get Obviously, the gaps are going to get blown up by a DP. And even though Ultimate Headbutt is a pretty bad DP, uh, I mean, maybe even the worst one as far as uh, even meter reversals go, right? It's still, you know... It still works out. It still works out on that scenario. Just fine, like, for us. Okay. Oh, God. I can never tell when those like buttons are, like, plus on block versus minus on block. I guess it depends on how high up in the air they hit you, right? Like most aerial stuff. Oh, okay. They decided to uh, to take it here. I suppose that makes sense. I'm going to extend this. Uh, why not? Probably a bad use of my brave points, but it lets me get them in the corner, which as Lodiva is, like, you know, my win condition, practically. Oh, okay. Guard button. Oh, I did not. I, as, I, I, as I was trying to switch over to the guard button, I ended up rolling there. Very, uh, very unfortunate little misinput shenanigans. Okay. Oh, oh, I could have killed them for that. Oh, you know what? So many times they could have been dead here, and so many times they have not been. These things happen, I suppose, but it's definitely unfortunate. Hmm. I want to ca catch their toes with a 2M for sure. Okay, that time I was actually ready. You've been getting me with these guard button checks too much. I'm just holding down. I am, I am mashing on that guard button for dear life right now. So you will find no, you will no longer find purchase with your silly left-right mix-ups, Mrs. Narmaya. Oh god, so sometimes again when I'm transitioning into it, I, I'm holding forward still and I, I do the funny. I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know which, so obviously the EX version of that, that Crescent Moon there is always plus, but I'm not sure about those ones, like like the, the like the light and medium one, I'm not sure if there's a difference, I'm not sure if both of them are always minus, I'm not sure if it depends on spacing, I just don't know enough about the move, to be honest. So that's why I'm kind of just like right now, you know, I might as well just pick, pick the safer option and respect it. Okay, fine, DP, sure. I will SSBA or SBA your ass, nice. To love town. You can SSBA me even, I don't really care. Oh, I could have even blown them up worse for that if I had gone into, into Lariat. Okay, fair. Not how I expected that air-to-air -air interaction to go. Get away from me. SSBA? No, okay, they're, they're, they, they are not just auto piloting to the same thing they did last time. Fair enough. That Lariat was definitely risky for me. I could have killed them there for sure, too. It's fine. Let's try and build up 50 meter here if we can. We're out of the corner, so that's good. Okay, they're going to do back-to-back... Missed finders on us here. If you have to take a couple throws, that's fine. The important thing is that we make sure that we do not... Okay, that was a little risky for sure. They tried to jump out of it. Obviously, the answer is spot dodge, but it's possible they either didn't know that or they did know it and they just panicked. So it happens, right? That was why I did it there is basically relying on them panicking, right? Maybe a little bit of a gimmick option in that sense, but sometimes you got to call your opponent out and see if they're ready for it. And, uh, you know, in those moments where if they had called me out there, I might have died. That's when people tend to be the least ready for you to call them out. They want, they're expecting you to play a little bit cleaner, a little bit safer. They want, you want you to be, you know, Scared, essentially. And I, I was trying, I'm trying not to be scared because it, uh, it caused me a few troubles in my TNS run. Of course, it's different in bracket. It's always hard. It's always easier to play not scared when the thing on the line is like, you know, fake ranked points versus, I mean, the online tournament results are also fake, but at the very least, it's a limited commodity, right? You can only play, you can only lose so many games in tournament before you get booted out. But yeah, you know, the more that I, uh, the more that I autopilot on op the options that are like not afraid, the more it'll be easier for me when you're scared, when you're actually nervous, you, you revert to your autopilot. Right. So if I if I train myself in these moments where I'm not super nervous to do things, you know, to go for those, like, for example, that run up uh, that run up SPD right uh, earlier in the set versus that Narmaya. Remember, I, I was going to do run up SPD and I got uh, run, run up SPD. There you go. Not run up head, but I was going to run up SPD and I got SSB8 for it again. That's like the kind of thing I might be like, I don't want to run up S SPD because what if they guess it? Right. But if they didn't guess it. I would have won right there, right? So again, it's it's, it's all about playing. I, I talk about this a lot. I've mentioned it in a while, but it's, it's the idea of playing to win versus playing not to lose. Running up and doing nothing there is playing not to lose, right? Running up and doing something that'll actually, if I'm if I'm right on my guess, it wins me the game, right? That's that's uh, that's playing to to win right there. Now, of course, you can say, well, but if they reversal SBA and you block it, that does win you the game, right? But most of the time, what this does, like it, it most of the time, what happens is just it kills your momentum, right? Uh, people do not wake up SBA that often because they know that it's a relatively expected option. So just running up here and staring at them kills your momentum. You give up your turn a lot of the times if they if they were waiting for you to, to try and bait SBA, they'll be more ready to like act out of that than you will, right? In general, I think it's it's 
Here begins if the reason you're picking an option is because you are scared, probably it's the wrong option. Or at the very least, it's not the option that you should always be using. Right? It shouldn't be your default option. Uh, anyways, we have the, the Steeler here on the Avatar Belial. Hello, Mr. Steeler. He modded in Blaze Blue Music. We've run into this guy before. I can't remember exactly uh, exactly when or why, but it was a while ago. I do remember his name, and I remember his card there, again, saying that he modded in Blaze Blue, uh, Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue Music. Uh, based, I think. I don't know that many Blaze Blue songs, but, uh, the, you know, the ones that I have heard, I've enjoyed. And uh, the Grand Blue songs are not... I, I, don't, I don't mind the Grand Blue music at all. I think it's totally fine. I think it's completely serviceable. But is it my favorite, like, fighting game soundtrack ever? No, probably not. Huh. Oh, nice throw. I thought he was going to DP after that, which is why I tried to beat him. Wait, this we, we, could, we could be in trouble pretty quick here. Yeah, we could be in trouble pretty quick here if we're not careful. So we got to be a little bit... Uh, Avatar's got us in the corner at this point. He, uh, funny enough, when he's, when he's low on health like this... Oh, I got reset. Fair enough. Yup, yup. I'm alive? Because I have full brave points, I think? Raw SSBA doesn't do that much damage to a full brave point target. He didn't even do, he didn't do technical input either, right? Okay, Devil Gym, sure. Nice. Guard Crush into death. Chip damage there. It was very hard for him. He had to spot dodge as soon as he landed there. I was even trying to catch him before uh, Ultimate Lariat is, or all versions of Lariat, but Ultimate Lariat is the best at this. His air unblockable, right? So I was trying to catch him as he was landing, basically, to, to blow him up there. It would have been impossible for him to defend, but I timed it a little late. And what ended up happening is he just got hit. Oh god, this is five. When did five rollback frames become a thing? Uh, the, the, the match was so stable earlier. Okay, we, we jumped. I mean, on the, on the, on, in, so, in some ways, it's some, it makes react to some things easier, the, the rollback frames. Uh, not always, though. Yeah, okay, sure. Fine, fine. Dude, what the hell? Okay, we can hit our combos, luckily. I've practiced my conversions enough. And that's the nice thing about rollback lag compared to delay lag, too. Even when a rollback game is still very laggy, your buttons come out exactly... Is he in range still? Yes, he is. You have to walk back a little bit a little bit earlier than that, sir. But yeah, um, the uh, you know even even when things are very laggy, your buttons still come out exactly when you press them. So it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world there. Oh, no, I did not jump. I think he's going to try and SS SSBA me again? Maybe. No, he, he used the threat of SSBA. To, to frighten me into jumping. And then I guess wrong on the 50-50, and now I'm in, in some big danger. Now I'm in chip scenario. Nice, he shoots me right through the brain there with the devil gen laser. Fair enough. I should have rolled uh, or spot dodge the, the U projectile so I didn't even get to chip in the first place because that's where things got very, very spooky, right? Okay, sure. This is, man, six. This is like six. This is some of the most rollback frames I've ever... Okay, this, this Avatar Belial is teleporting. I'm not going to lie to you. This is like one of the worst connections I've had like since I had a, I had a, I had one for my master's promos that was like 500 MS with like six rollback frames or something. The MS here surprisingly not so bad. Goddamn are the rollback frames awful though. I tell oh you can't spot dodge that of course it's a grab. Uh, but goddamn are the rollback frames awful here. That tells you what oh you don't spot dodge that either. You're supposed to jab that. I mean to be fair this right here like this loss is not really based on rollback frames. We just picked the wrong option. We picked spot dodge when it was the wrong option twice in a row there. And that's why we're gonna we're gonna die here. Yeah we're super dead by the way. Yeah yeah like there's it was death by like 100 miles. Um, this connection's, like, really, really bad, but we're all, we're basically at the end of the video anyway, so I guess we'll just play it out. I don't really like one and dunning people. Uh, even if, the, the, like, the only time that I think it can be somewhat acceptable is if the connection is, like, as bad as this one, essentially. Uh, but, like, you know, we're already at the end of the video. We probably don't have time for a, a full other set anyways, so you might as well just play this out and see how it goes. It can be, you know, maybe some, some good practice to play in some sweater weather. I don't want to lose my touch from back when I used to play Dragon Ball Fighters, you know, when I was a little bit more used to this sort of, this sort of lag. Oh, okay, okay, it is, it, it, it sure is a lot, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. I could not tell what he was doing there. Uh, the preemptive brave counter is definitely still not a good idea, but it makes it it's even worse when you can't uh, when you're preemptively brave countering something where you're not even sure what the hell's going on on the screen. Okay, I'm trying to take his legs with 2M. It's not quite working out for me. Oh, okay, spot dodge there. Definitely not the schmoove. He'll get guard crushed by this though. It's always good. Okay, he got hit by that. Uh, I think this is my highest damage option here potentially to do something like this. I don't. Is this combo limit? No, it's not. Is this combo limit? Yes, almost certainly, right? No, actually it wasn't. I could have extended it a little bit further. Who would have thought? Uh, is jumping going to lose to this? Yes, it is. Okay. That was actually, that's actually a really interesting mix that I've never ever thought about with Avatar, right? I thought he was going to run up and do SBA. He ran up and did... Uh, or sorry, SSBA. He ran up and did SS SBA. So me jumping there to beat SSBA, it got, it got beaten by... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it basically, it's, it's not really anything too special compared to just the regular 50-50 there, right? Okay. Okay. He's trying to zone me out, apparently. Ow. The lead of his roll, unfortunately, pure ass there. So I was still in recovery by the time he got to me. Oh, my, okay. That, I just did not see that throw happening, unfortunately, for me. Get away from me, good sir. Give me your toes, good sir. Yeah, okay. Maybe maybe I should have won and done. I don't know. This connection is like, it, it's getting even worse now. Like, it's gotten, actually, it's genuinely gotten even worse since the first game, somehow. Oh, well, though, we're, we're here. No, no, no use complaining about it at this point. We just got to play it out. Okay, I am minus on block there. Fair enough. 
dude, I, this is the grand blue PowerPoint is going crazy right now. Oh no, you don't spot dodge that. God damn. Okay, to be fair, both times we've died here have been to spot dodging that, which is just not the answer. Lag or not lag, that's just me picking the wrong option. I don't know why I've gotten in my head to spot dodge that. I, I used to not have this problem, and now I do. So I, I'm not sure why exactly that's going on. But yeah, you definitely don't spot dodge that. If you want, you can block it. The safest option is obviously to block it, right? But really, if you want to call it out, what you do is you punch it, right? It's kind of like Narmaya's U flip. You can punch him out of it into a combo. It's it's not it's a lot harder to do than Narmaya's flip because he moves a lot faster out of the teleport. But it is it is like essentially the option there. Uh, okay, you know what? let's. Do I want to play? Do I want to play one more set? Let's let's if, if we you know if I if I find the match in like the next uh, 10, 10, 20 here, we'll run another set. Otherwise, uh, we'll end the video here. Regardless though, I'm not uh, I'm not too upset with how I've been playing here. I mean the, that that avatar match I think was you know obviously there's a little bit there's a little bit of a, a cloud over there when like uh, it, it, it was it was weird because okay we did, we did find a match pretty quickly. It went from like you know like super good connection to just like complete explosion like very quickly. But yeah, I think the big problem there one of the thing that lost us both the games right was spot dodging on. Hey, okay, okay. I'm actually I'm glad I played another one. I would really like to to fight Shiro again here and just get a little bit more experience, try not to panic in the corner versus Cagliostro. Um, but yeah, I... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the thing that lost us the game both times was spot dodging that Eureka, right? So that's just obviously, that's like not even lag, that's just us picking the wrong option, and we got to be a little bit more diligent about that. Okay, there you go. Nice. We're able to, we're able to, to fight through the... Uh, funny that Shiro is in Brazil, and my connection with them is like so much better than my connection with that last person was. Oh, they guessed, they guessed str uh, throw, and they guessed correctly. Fair enough. Um... But yeah, I was able to go through the wall of Far H there, which is always good news. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Ah, so true. Okay, I'll actually block that this time. Great. That's already an improvement. Oh, but I just did it again. That's okay, okay. We blocked it the first time. Uh, we did it the second time, but that's already that's already an improvement uh, over what was happening in the last game, right? So I'll take it. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Double sure. Okay, that triggers a trap at the very least. Not my best option there, possibly. They have so much health, and I have, like, so much not health. Any knowers? Okay, now we're back to the, yeah, back to the wall of far H's, and it converts into the U, uh, what's it called? The U hip thrust there is what I call it. I don't actually know what it's, I think it's, is it Atlantis or something? All her, all her move names are very interesting. But yeah, unfortunately, I could not make it through the wall of far H's that time. It is tough, it is tough. Especially, Hero obviously spacing me out pretty well there. Some solid neutral on, on this Cagliostro. Okay, at least I got, I got rid of the trap. I'll take, I'll take the lump if it means the trap's gone. I don't really even mind at that point. Okay, let's headbutt these rocks. Let's build up some meter. Meter is still those make our life a lot easier in this matchup. Okay, there you go. That is punishable on block at the very least. I could have even gotten a bigger punish there if I if I was a little bit more on the ball with it. That time I'm just not gonna block it though, unfortunately. At least we've blocked the 6XM the first time, both times so far. That's improvement, right? Even if it's not a ton of improvement. Okay. Oh, and you can't punish it if the other trap is there. I see, or at least not you can't punish it the way that I did it there. I mean maybe I could have done SSBA or something. Uh, I think this will reach. Yeah, I did a little micro walk forward there right before I did it. So I wanted to make sure it was in range, but it actually was in range, which is good. Now we gotta deal with Cagliostro's DP though. I'm not even sure. I think you just wanna not be in the way of the toilet, right? If they're gonna use it. Oh my god, okay, okay, nice. They guessed uh, they guessed throw there, I suppose. Tried to match after that JL and they got blown up for it. I'll gladly take it. We take our round. Hey, already. Already better than uh, our last run in with Shiro. Right, so this is good. Uh what do I do? I want a JM. Okay, sure. Wall of the wall of far H's begins. Okay, sure. Okay, double pierce. I see you. Trigger the traps. Okay. Good old Cagliostro sweep. Like Jeb Bush in this bitch. Get rid of the trap. Okay, fair enough. I got blown up for trying to get rid of the trap there. Oh, I'm going to get back thrown into this one. Yeah, that's still the one that I have not figured out yet. Because delay tech against Cagliostro scares me. Uh, Cagliostro players keep telling me that uh, J22H loses to delay mash. Uh, I Maybe I'm missing something, but in my experience, that is the exact thing that it actually beats. Right? Delay mashing gets you blown up, gets you full comboed by J22H. So I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about. Uh, they don't, uh, but, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a Cagliostro player, but in my experience, you just can't delay tech against this character, which makes her throws a lot scarier than they might otherwise be. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And the spot dodge that time, obviously very ready for the Liu Lariat there is, is Shiro. Good stuff. Hey, that was still a much better game than what we ran against them the first time. Let's see if they're uh, if they're willing to uh, rematch us. Wonderful. Again, I, I, I just need this experience, man. So I'd love to keep uh, playing them as much as I can here. Okay, yeah, far H, Pyrrhus. Oh, God. Yeah, and then sometimes, yeah, they, they, they go from, instead of just trying to wall me out with infinite far H's, that was a punish on my light headbutt, very unfortunate. Instead of trying to just wall me out with infinite far H's, right? Oh, okay. I figured they would go with a back throw there. That's, again, that's the first time we've actually teched that, so hooray, I suppose. Oh, God. I thought that was, uh, I thought that spear would be, uh, I know it's minus on block, but I guess I just waited a little bit too long to actually mash there. Yeah, R's Magna gonna catch us here. Indeed it will. Looks like it was almost not gonna connect for a second there, but it, it, obviously it's timed out to work, right? Ah, nice. 
Okay, okay. I mean, another perfect, but a little bit better as far as how we were dealing with some of the options, right? We teched a couple of throws and things like that against stuff that we just straight up did not do ever before. Ah, uh, nice. I tried to just catch him off guard with the round start. Lariat there did not work in that way. Okay, that's the opportunity to set up a trap. Indeed. Wee! I need to 2H this thing away. Oh, no. No, I don't. No, I do not. I was already pulled forward by the spear there. Okay, yeah. Far H once again. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Okay, far H. Sure. Oh, God. Okay, I guess they don't spot dodge at that time. They sort of pop them a little bit. Ah, and far H gonna punish this. But yeah, yeah, this is tough, man. Shiro is just, they're too good. Okay, hold on. Chance to. That was a little bit of a, uh, a, a, a miss pilot there by them. Going for that. What do you guys think? I think they're gonna DP, probably. Yep. Wonderful. We do get the chance to punish. Hmm. Get away from me. Oh, no. I was a little too scared to land with something there. Am I dead? Yeah, I am. Goddamn. I was a little too scared when I landed to hit a button there. I should have con I, I should have committed to something. They also paused for a sec, but then they, they recovered quicker. They, like, went back to, oh, right, I have to win the game mode faster than I did. Okay, okay, hey. That was still, obviously, we got completely washed by Shiro there. Both of the sets against Shiro in this video were, like, very not close, right? But, on the bright side, the second one was definitely better than the first one, which means we're improving, and that's all I can really ask for. Uh, Shiro, I mean... I, I fight council sometimes too on ranked, right? But I just, in general, I don't have a ton of experience versus these like super, like these top level Cagliostros, right? So it's definitely good to get. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad that it seems, again, I'm, I'm somewhat, somewhat slowly, right? Adapting to the, at least this level level one of the mind game. So maybe eventually Shiro has to adapt a little bit and do something else. For now though, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with how we were playing in uh, in this video, right? Uh, this is the one where that started when we fought Fuselet? I think so, right? We, we did pretty well again. We, we fought a lot of very strong people here. Fuselet, Shiro twice, right? Um, that Narmaya we, we fought and we, we beat, I think. So overall, we're playing very well. We're just running some very strong players, and they're, we're, we're learning from them. We're doing our best to learn from them so that we can catch up with them, and uh, eventually they'll be able to stand shoulder to shoulder. Uh, well, you know, this is the road to number one Lediva, but again, the point is not necessarily the gems. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, just like with how, how much people who are at the top of the leaderboard grind those gems, I just don't play this game often enough. I record, you know, like two hours every two days. It's almost, even if I won every single game that I play, it is almost mathematically impossible for me to catch up with them unless I just like play even more. The point more so when I say road to number one is that I want to get to the point where I am like, you know, People talk about, okay, who are the best Ladivas? And, like, it's a question that includes me, maybe, right? It's like, oh, you know, is it, is it, is it, obviously, Gobo in Japan is probably the goat right now, but at least maybe on this side of the ocean, right? It's like, is it, oh, is it, is it, uh, is it, is it, is it Uber Cheesecake? Is it J Mam? Is it, is it Gabagool? Is it Beef? Is it nothing? Is it Brick, right? Like, I want to have, I want to be in that conversation, basically, where I'm, 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 a, I'm a top level player. The gems are, at the end of the day, relatively meaningless, right? The point is to be learning between every, every match here. So, all that being said, I'm happy with how we played for, uh, for you know, for today. I'm, I'm quite, quite satisfied. Uh, but if you made it this far in the video, as always, I have four things for you before you go here. If you, if you let me bend your ear for a second. So, number one, uh, you should join the Discord. Link in the description there. We done tournaments there. So it's a great time. Uh, we also it's a nice community. If you just talk about Grand Blue or learn from people or just talk about whatever the hell you want. Talk, hang out, put, post pictures of your cats. People are doing that now. We got a pets channel. People are posting pictures of the cats and dogs and things like that. So that's great. Uh, so I encourage you to join with the link in the description down there. But also I encourage you to please, if you do join, keep it the nice and welcoming place it currently is. Everyone in there is super nice, super chill, right? Nobody's been banned or anything like that. But if I have to ban somebody, I will. And if that somebody is you, then I will ban you. So just don't let it be you. Easy, right? Uh, for number two, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there, like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free, don't cost you nothing. Helps the channel out, helps the channel out a lot, and I appreciate it, of course. While you're there, for number three, that subscribe button, that bell button there, also right down there. We'll keep you up to date with all of this content I'm, keep, I'm throwing out to you every single day. We got uh, somewhere like, well, three videos a day, and somewhere between two and a half to four hours of content every single day. So uh, if the content interests you, but you don't have enough time to watch everything I put out, which is probably most people, right? It's like a part time job to watch everything I put It's like 20 hours of content a week, right? So in that case, I recommend you hit those two buttons, get notified when something new is uploaded, and go back and watch it if it's either particularly interesting to you or if you have a lot of free time on your hands that day and also while i'm side note while i'm here i stream on twitch uh i there's a link in the description for that too if you want to follow me on twitch or if you just want to tune into the streams they happen twice a week right wednesdays at uh, 5 p.m est is our intermediate bracket thursdays at 6 p.m est is our open bracket our all skill bracket and i stream those as they happen and i commentate them live and people hang out we talk about the matches they're going on i think that's a good time so if you want to drop a follow i'd appreciate the support if you want to tune into the streams i think it's a good time i think you'd enjoy yourself but yeah just a quick note on that uh, and of course, so number four, most importantly, mo more important than whenever buttons to smash or whatever YouTube friendly interactions hit me with, I appreciate those. But I hope you had a great time hanging out today, most of all, as always. I know I sure did, right? Again, we're, we're playing well. I think we're adapting. Again, uh, the, the Cagliostro stuff is still really hard for me. I've had to, like, I've kind of learned, like, the basic stuff about CAG, but I'm still not very good against playing at these top, against these top level Cagliostros, so we're gonna have to learn that over time, but overall, we're getting better every week, this week, like, you know, this is Saturday for me right now that I'm recording this, it will be, it's, it's probably, like, maybe even next Saturday or, like, next Monday for you guys, like, eight days from now, that's roughly how big my backlog is, I think, but anyway, the point is, this week, I am better than I was last week, 
wonderful. If that happens every single week, eventually I'm going to be ridiculous. Right? I'm going to be so cracked. So that's that's good to see. I, the, the the goal for me is 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 happening. The, the the improvement is happening. It's not a race. It's a it's not a sprint. Or sorry, it's not a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So I'm I'm glad to see our sort of incremental progress every single week here. Anyways, I'm having a lot of fun with Granblue. There's going to be a lot more coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.